This is Poetry in Chicago, a business plan by Kathleen Chandelmeyer Bartles. My content focus for this proposal involves a website, a blog, and videos. Value to the audience is that there is a dire need of a single source for people to find out about poetry readings, poetry events, poets, and their writing in Chicago and the surrounding area. The focus of this content will be poetry in Chicago. This plan means that poets will finally have a single reliable source to go to to find out about poetry readings and poetry events. Poets will have their lives documented in writing, videos, and on social media platforms that are accessible from all over the world. My target audience is people in the middle of life with families who are teachers. I fall into this category as well. This website will feature not only a list of poetry readings, but also articles about poets' lives and videos of performances. Perspective. The perspective will be objective and give the audience an opportunity to formulate their own opinions using facts and evidence from the poetry readings. That's my picture, by the way. Credibility. I am an award-winning writer. I'm the founder and host of the Beach Poets since 1990. I'm an outstanding leader in peace at the Peace Museum. In 1994, I got that one. Um, I received a Certificate of Leadership in Racial Justice from the YWCA in DuPage County in 1994, and I was named one of the 100 Women Making a Difference in Chicago by today's Chicago Woman Foundation in 1998. Here's my audience. It's Charlize Whimsy, a poetry enthusiast with little time on her hands. She has an open mind and is a people person. My target avatar. She's the married mother of three. She's an English teacher who loves poetry, but she doesn't have time to go looking all over for poetry readings when she does have time free. She needs Poets in Chicago, our website, to use as a reliable source for active poetry readings. Distribution. Poets in Chicago will build excitement through posting of poets presenting their work as well as short video presentations, including animation based on poetry and poetry readings. Social media. We will have short videos posted on TikTok, longer readings posted on YouTube. Information about the readings will be posted on Instagram and Facebook, as well as X, formerly known as Twitter. According to Bradburn, 2006, we understand that poetry and other literary forms serve important purposes. They celebrate our culture, create economic opportunities, educate our citizenry, and enhance our lives. Literature challenges us to think about ourselves and the world around us in new ways. Audiences might be persuaded to participate and engage in poetry if opportunities were provided. Need. Chicagoans need to be able to access a reliable source for poetry readings. It's my new media plan. The bulk of the content will be posted on the website and updated regularly. Short videos of poetry performances will be given in bursts on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. Longer videos will be posted to YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, X, formerly Twitter, and TikTok posts will also inform audiences of events as well as links to articles posted on the website. This is Vito Carly. He's the founder and host of uh, Poetry Reading at Tangible Books on the south side in beautiful Bridgeport, which is a neighborhood in Chicago. And I took that picture. Revenue. Advertising by venues such as bookstores, cafes, and bars where poetry readings are held will provide the bulk of the funding. Not-for-profit status will help the organization by allowing us to apply for grants and fellowships through organizations like the Illinois Arts Council, the National Endowment for the Arts, and the MacArthur Foundation. This would also allow us to work effectively with museums and institutions like the Art Institute, universities, schools, and hospitals, as well as 
where poetry has been offered by a writing therapist or by nursing or medical practitioners. That was from Poulton in 1999. Selling merchandise like books, t-shirts, buttons, and pictures will help raise awareness of and funds for poets in Chicago. Poets and artists support venues such as bookstores, cafes, and bars by spending money when they are in the establishment. This hands-on, visceral way of supporting business is key in the post-pandemic era. My website, here it is, Poetry in Chicago. A community of poets thrives in the city of Chicago. The time has come for us to have relevant news about the dynamic poetry scene that exists in our beautiful city. The purpose of this site is to provide up-to-date news in one convenient location about poets, poetry events, and readings from across the Chicago area. This is only the beginning of a great adventure. Please join us. Email Kathleen at BeachPoets.com with your poetic news. So there you have it. There's my website. It's just one page right now. We're getting there. And those are my references. All right, so I hope you enjoyed my presentation and I look forward to hearing from you about what you think. Thank you so much. Peace.